What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Welcome to A. Nicole Tarot. I am your girl, A. Nicole. And I am going to be doing a general reading for my collective booze. I would like to remind you that this is a general reading. It's not a one-to-one. -one. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right? Thank you so much for y'all's likes, y'all's love, y'all's shares, y'all's comments, y'all hitting up my tip jar. I really appreciate all the loving gifts that you all give. Um, let's see, please be aware of scammers out there pretending to be me. I am presently not doing any personal readings right now. So if you are approached by someone, moonlighting as me, trying to book a session with you, know that you are being scammed, report them, block them, and go on your merry way. Alrighty. Um, I have already cleansed the space. I have already meditated over the cards opened up the roads and we are ready to rock all righty let's do this secrets came out first secrets love affair keeping things inside not opening up and illusion okay thank you spirit sneaky goddamn fake profile hiding from you behind the scenes social media okay some of you all have some sneaky, deaky, freaky shit in y'all's energy. Somebody is keeping secrets from you, you know, particularly on something social media, dating app, you know, something with a phone, you know, past. This could be somebody who you've dealt with in your past, or this could be somebody dealing with somebody from their past. But it says there is history. But it also says it happened, left behind, and looking back. So somebody could be sneaking with somebody from their past. Drama. Creating problems, thirsty for attention, overreacting, and drama queen. What else, babe? What else? Reflection. Dark night of the soul, dark shadow, facing inner truth, seeing true colors. Wowzer, Bowser. Okay. It's, I, know, I always know I'm going to get something when I pull out this deck. Okay. Faith, wishing, praying, and hope. Obsession, holding on, clinging, can't let go, anxiety. Shattered, crushed sadness, broken heart, panic attack, pain, guarded, apprehensive, putting a wall, excruciating pain. Mm. Mm. And the bird is 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 like, oh, I'm I'm so much in pain, risky. Unprotected sex, sexual disease, partner to partner, unsafe decision. Hmm. Let's talk about it. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, I'm picking up on energy that somebody, something crazy fucking happened. There was some type of a, a secret. Somebody was on some sneaky, sneaky shit. Some real, 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 real sneaky shit, you know, that you weren't privy to. With this uh, phone here, this could be someone they met online. This could be someone they were texting, it's like phone calls, texting, dating profile, DMing, like along that lines. You know, somebody was sneaking something. You could have found something in their phone. But yeah, someone was hiding something. You know, somebody was keeping something. You know, like I said, it could have been um, the energy of somebody from the past, somebody that they had history with. Somebody they had a what if moment with. I don't know. Um, this person could have been very dramatic. A drama queen. I don't know. Or this could have been the person thinking that you were overreacting to finding out. Or overreacting about this person in, your, in their life. You know, they're just a friend. They're just this. It's not that. It's not what you think. You know, they're just my friend. Da 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 or if they if they were together, oh that was in the past, let's leave it there. Something about it's in the past. 
Hmm. But I feel like something fucking happened and that left you fucking shattered. They did something that was risky. Something happened that was really risky and it just shattered you. It really shattered you. You put your wall up. You know, you were able to really see their true colors. Hmm. Yeah. And I feel like this person, they can't let you go. They have like some sort of obsession that you're going to come back. Hmm. See what's at the bottom of the deck. Jealousy. Pettiness, rumors, being envious, envious talking behind your back. That could have even been something that you found out as well. How jealous this person was. They were a snake. A snake-ass person. You're probably not talking to this person. Yeah, I feel like this person took a risk. Whatever it was that they did that was just out the fucking way and was just heinish as shit, they, they, they took a risk. And they took a wrong risk. They probably even had a poker face when you, when you um, confronted them about something. Forbidden. Yeah, deja vu. This is somebody who probably did something with someone in their past. Somebody who they had history uh, with. You know? And you could also be feeling deja vu like this has happened to you before. God dang. All of these things. Let's see. Yeah, this person was very lustful. Whatever they, they did, it was very lustful. They really gave in to their sexual energy. You know, whatever they did, it was some sort of forbidden fruit um, with them. You know, with this clown, I feel like they showed they fucking ass. They showed their fucking ass with this clown. You know, it could have brought you great shame and humiliation. But I feel like with this sign, some of you could be seeing some sort of repeated numbers or synchronicities. Something. Hmm. Revenge, retaliation, plotting, payback, punishing, getting even. I feel like this might be the energy of the other person. You know, because I'm looking all of these straight down. We got revenge, clown, and drama. So I don't know. Take that as it resonates. You know, so I don't know. There's also some sort of an energy of revenge. Like somebody is trying to, it's like drama, like pettiness, you know? And then we have tether, anchor, and soulmates. Either you think that this person is your soulmate and you're connected to them, you're, you're tethered to them, or it's the other way around. But there's some sort of a feeling of being chained to this person. You know, you this person could be in your dreams. You could be in this person's dreams. You could be thinking nonstop about this person. This person can be thinking nonstop about you. You know what I mean? This is really heavy. Oh, God. Conflict. Clashing differences. But you, you all are incompatible. I feel like whatever happened is irreconcilable. You, you know, it's a point of no return. Yeah, locked. You cannot move forward. You know, you you you're, you're detached with this loss. It's just empty. Like I feel like a lot of you have just cut them off. This person may feel lost. Hmm. Hmm. This person could be your twin flame. You know, now they now that you stop chasing them, now they now they want to chase you. You stop chasing them, and you're working on yourself. And now they want to fucking chase you. Now they're obsessed. They want to meet up with you with this coffee date. They want to make plans that they should have made. You know, they want to, I feel like a lot of them have been dismissive to how they've hurt you. You know, dismissive and had a big disregard um, for how they hurt you. But I also feel like this is how you all feel with them. You all are being really dismissive to them. You know, you've, you've detached, you've let them go. You're no longer with the shit, and that's their karma. You know, a lot of you all are getting divorced. You may have some sort of a legal matter with them. You're letting the court handle it. But, you know, yeah, that's their karma is you're, you're not there no more. You're dismissive. 
You're not in love with them like that anymore. You, you no longer give a fuck about the union. You realize that they are toxic. They are unhealthy. They are poisonous. You know, but they want to offer you some type of new commitment. You know, they want to circle the block and give you everything um, that they should have because they realized they took a gamble and it was the wrong fucking gamble. Yeah, they shouldn't have did that. They shouldn't have did that. That was, that was kind of dumb for them to do. You know, that was real dumb for them to do. Mm. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see. Trying to see if I want to pull more from out of this deck after I shuffle it. Or if I want to go into a new deck. Mm -hmm. You're completely done. I feel like a lot of y'all are completely done. Y'all have moved the fuck on. You know, <laughs> y'all are not with the shits no more. No matter what they say, no matter what they do, you are completely fucking done. Now they have all of these epiphanies about who you are to them, what you mean to them. You know, and all of this other stuff. They want to now make those commitments and shit like that. You know, they they realize time ain't been on their fucking side. You know, or, or, or you're realizing that you wasted too much time. And, and in that time, they had too much arrogance, too much pride. They were stubborn. They were holding back from you, not trying to give you all. <laughs> Excuse me. Being emotionally fucking unavailable, all of that shit. They were in their ego. Yep. And like you have magnifying glass, butterflies, and lost. You found out, like you see them for who they are. They are lost. You know, and now you're making that transition. You know, you're you're done. You know, you're devoted to your happiness. You know, you're transforming. You're in a new phase, a new stage of your life. You're now a butterfly. You're out of that cocoon. With them and their bullshit. You know? I need to find my, um, my Elise, I mean, my Allegra family, starting a, starting a family, making a home, feeling safe and secure, and children at the bottom. Hmm. Maybe this was somebody who you were going to start a family with, or somebody who you did start a family with. Or somebody who saw you as such, but no more. You have children in pain. Wow. Wow. Yeah, they, they were probably, they, their immaturity cost you a lot of pain. Mm, but now you single. You free. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's causing them pain. They're seeing that their immaturity you know, caused you to be single. Now you on your own shit. Now you're doing your own thing. And that shit got them feeling real fucked up. As they should be feeling. As they should be feeling. Alright, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to leave it here. Thank y'all for tuning in to A. Nicole Tarot. I just want to do a quick little um, reading for y'all. Thank you for tuning in to A. Nicole Tarot. I will catch you all at another time. Peace.